Here are the video solutions for AQA Functional Skills Maths Level 1. This is paper 1 which is the non-calculator paper and this is from June 2022. So let's take a look at question 1. So the question says circle the value of 8 to the power of 2, 8 squared. So what that means is 8 multiplied by 8 and 8 times 8 is 64 which is the first answer. Moving on to question number two, a fair ordinary dice is rolled. What is the probability of rolling an even number? Well, if you're um, throwing a normal dice, then all you can get is a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six. So out of the six options, there are one, two, three even numbers. So that is a three out of six, otherwise known as a half, but one half isn't an available answer option. So it's simply three sixths. Question number three, we need to be thinking about the laws of bid mass. The B stands for brackets, so we need to do the brackets first. Six take away two is four, so the question is now 15 take away four, and of course 15 minus four is 11. Question number four, by rounding 2.97 to the nearest whole number, estimate the answer to 45 times 2.97. Well, if we're rounding this to the nearest whole number, that means we're interested in the value of the first decimal place. It's a nine, so we're gonna round this up to three, or you could think of it as is uh, this number here, 2.97, it's between two and three. Is it closer to two or three? Well, it's 2.9, so that is a very, well, it's much closer to three than two, so we're gonna round it up to three. So now we just need to do 45 multiplied by three. We might need to do some um, uh, use a column here. So three times five is 15, five carry one. Three times four is 12 plus one is 13. So the answer is 135. Question number five, complete the table to show equivalent fractions, decimals, and percentages. Okay, so 25%, that means 25 out of 100. So this, is 25% as a fraction, but this fraction can be simplified. We can divide the top and the bottom by five. 25 divided by five is five, and 100 divided by five is 20. We've still got multiples of five, so if we divide by five again, five divided by five is one, 20 divided by five is four, so that is one quarter, although hopefully, um, it's, well, it's just worth remembering if you don't know already, 25% is a quarter, just learn it in the same way that you know that 50% um, is a half. So 40%, what is that as a decimal? So to go from a percentage to a decimal, we need to divide by 100. So 40 divided by 100. If you're struggling with that, then just write 40 as 40.0. And we need to move the decimal point two positions. Why? Because there are two zeros in 100. Um, but it might not be obvious what the final number is gonna be. So you might wanna stick some zeros to the left of this so we can actually physically move it two positions. So it's moved from there to there, and hopefully we can see now that actually these extra zeros don't need to be there, and the answer is 0 0.400, but again, these zeros at the end don't need to be there either, so it's just 0 0.4. Alternatively, you could think of it as 2 fifths is the same as 4 tenths, just multiplying the top by 2 and the bottom by 2. If we can get the fraction out of 10 or 100, then it's very easy to turn it into a decimal. 4, out, four tenths is 0 0.4. Remember, if there's one decimal place, it's tenths. So remember, if we've got tenths, then we're just writing that in the first column after the decimal point. Now, if we're dividing by 100 to go from the percentage to the decimal, we're multiplying by 100 to go from the decimal to the percentage, or you could see 3 out of 10, this is probably easier, is the same as now percent means out of 100 so 3 out of 10 is the same as what out of 100 well to go from a 10 to 100 we're multiplying by 10 so let's multiply the top by 10 3 times 10 is 30 so we've got 30 out of 100 so that is therefore 30 percent as i said alternatively you could multiply 0 0.3 by 100 and that will also get you 30 percent Okay, so on to question six, section B. So the key thing here is that the scale one centimeter re represents 0 0.5 meters. What that means also is that two centimeters equals uh, one meter. So here we've got one meter, two meters, three meters, four meters, and half a meter. So in total, that is 4.5 meters in real life. And the question, is it more than four meters? Well, we can say yes, because 4.5 is greater than four. B, 
what we need to do here is look at the key. This square represents two flags. So for pattern, patterns, we've got two, four, six. For um, animal, we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, and this is a half of two, which is one. So two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. National, we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, plus one is fifteen. And for plane, we've got two, four. So what we need to do is work out the total. So the total is six plus four plus eleven plus fifteen. Six plus four is ten, fifteen, sixteen, carry one, one, two, three. So the total is thirty-six. So how many are national flags? Well, national flags, that is fifteen out of 36. Now if there are, um, we want to work out what one third of the total flags is, so one third of 36, uh, that is the same as 36 divided by 3, which is 12. So um, one third is 12 out of 36, um, we know that national is 15 out of 36, and the question says uh, what well, Evie says rather, less than one third of my flags are national flags. Well, um, Evie is wrong. Scroll down a bit. Scroll down a bit rather. Uh, Evie is wrong because uh, 15 out of 36 is more than 12 out of 36, which is the equivalent of one third. Okay, so for part C, what we need to do here is work out the mean for this period here of five months. So it's going to be 9 plus 6 plus 8 plus 5 plus 12. So the mean is the total divided by the number of values. And we can see there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 values. Now if we add up 9 plus 6 plus 8 plus 5 plus 12, 12 plus 8 is 20, uh, 29, 29 plus 6, 35 plus the 5 is 40. So we've got 40 divided by 5, which is 8. There we go. So the mean is 8. And of course, 8, that is more than 7. And that takes us to the end of the paper.